So hi and welcome everybody, welcome back. So here we will continue from where we left off from the last lecture where we talked about how to build a private Core V5G network using open source software tools like Asteris Fan or open air interface with commercial of the shelf hardware devices. So the open RAN can be very useful for companies interested in building their own private 4G, 5G cellular networks. In summary, open RAN can have the following potential use cases. First, some companies might be interested in building their own private 4G, 5G network for security reasons. For example, they want to own the, their own infrastructure and they want to be independent from the public network that can be used by uh, big operators in the country. Second reason, second potential use case and application of Open RAN can be for companies who want to become new internet service providers or operators offering 5G services with less cost to their customers. So there might be an interest from new startup companies who want to provide internet service internet services to their customers at very competitive affordable prices the third use case for open ran can be for building low cost lte new radio 5g network infrastructure for a private or public institutions and companies some companies small companies or small institution might be interested in having their own a private uh, network as a replacement to Wi-Fi networks because they are more effective, more efficient, the quality of the services provided for, by them much better than Wi-Fi and therefore you can reduce the cost of building networks while providing better quality of service to your end customers. The fourth use case might be for building low-cost LTE or new radio 5G network simulators. So if you are a research institution or um, uh, an R&D lab, you, you might be interested in building and setting up a 4G network or 5G network that allow you and your researchers to test your newly developed algorithms and see their performance in real life. Since everything runs on a PC, it's very easy to add and test a new LTE or a new radio 5G features and algorithms. The fifth use case can be for educational purposes. For example, teaching students 5G, 5G or 4G by doing, by uh, configuring the parameters and running a base station is a way to learn many details about LTE and the new radio 5G. So in addition to all these use cases, uh, other possible applications can be uh, in disaster scenarios where you might experience interruption in communication and due to disaster situation like earthquake, hurricanes, fires uh, that can really uh, uh, destroy your the currently existing infrastructure. So in such cases, it's very there is a huge need and huge urgency to uh, quickly and rapidly deploy a new network that can serve the customers so that you can rescue them and take care of the victims. So in summary, in disaster events such as earthquakes or attacks by enemies, the currently deployed communication infrastructures, including base stations, towers, data centers, it, are subject to destruction or malfunction thus leaving thousands of people and enterprises without connection in the most needed moments. Therefore, rebuilding the destroyed communication infrastructure in conventional ways would normally take weeks or even months to restore the communication networks back to normal. In order to address this challenge, it, one might propose building a backup state-of-the-art 5G communication system that can be deployed very rapidly within hours and within with lost co with low cost devices to help rescue people and casualties and ease their suffering resulting from disasters. So this is very great, amazing potential use case for 5G networks. 
private private G network. The other potential uh, use case is uh, for some big companies and small medium enterprises such as university campuses, hotels, hospitals, schools. There is a large number of access points in these uh, in these uh, enterprises and such companies, which can be replaced with a few efficient number of uh, 4G or 5G access points that can provide much better quality of service while reducing the number of footprints and the uh, number of places where you need to install base stations and as well as reducing the cost you might find out that building a private 4G 5G network might be even might come at a lower price than Wi-Fi network uh, while providing better service so there is it's no brainer anyone any uh, anyone who's uh, requested to evaluate the situation of which network to choose of course you are going to directly go with a 4G 5G network if it provides you with better quality while reducing the cost and as we can see there is a huge interest in the world uh, with a huge interest in open ran all over all over the world and Germany just recently announced funding of around 300 million for supporting the open RAN activities so countries all, all over uh, the world are very much interested in finding new ways to build much more efficient and uh, robust and resilient networks while reducing the cost significantly so thank you everyone Take care, stay blessed, and see you in the next course.